Hello friends, welcome back to Intellect Tube. This is the second video on electromagnetic theory, especially focused on ISRO scientist exam. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe so you will not miss any lecture. Today I am going to explain wave polarization. Polarization is a parameter which defines the possible orientation of the components of wave. In electromagnetic wave, it indicates the possible orientation of electric field and magnetic field so that to satisfy the transverse nature of EM wave. Now let's see what are the various types of polarization. Let us consider electromagnetic wave is propagating in Z direction. Then there will be five cases related to this which we are going to discuss one by one. For the case one, let's we have electric field in positive X direction. So its equation will be EZT equal to E naught sin omega T minus beta z ax. Here E naught is the amplitude of the electric field, omega is angular frequency, beta is phase constant, z shows the direction of wave propagation and x shows the electric field direction. If we plot this on rectangular axis, we will find that its magnitude is changing continuously. But the direction will always be in positive x direction. So this wave is said to have linear horizontal polarization. In the similar manner, in case 2, if electric field is along y direction, that is EZT equal to E0 sin omega t plus beta z ay, then again we will get the same plot, but in y direction. So this wave is said to have linear vertical polarization. In case 3, let's we have both x and y components together. Then at a given particular time, we will have separate values for both x and y components. And in this case, we will take the resulting of the two components as the final value. This wave is also linearly polarized. So all of the above discussed cases were of linear polarization. And next we are going to see circular and elliptical polarization. Most of the exams ask questions from only these two cases that is circular and elliptical polarization. So now come to case number 4. Here we have both the x and y components of electric field with the same amplitude but a phase difference of pi by 2. That is one component is sine term and the other one is cosine term. So let's see the pattern of field direction at z equal to 0. When we put z equal to 0, then beta z term will be neglected and we can check the values at different different time instants. So let's start with t equal to 0. At t equal to 0, sine term will become 0 and the cosine term will have maximum value. So here ex equal to 0 and ey equal to e naught. At t equal to t by 8, where capital T is the time period of oscillation, omega t can be written as 2 pi divided by t into t by 8, since we all know that omega equal to 2 pi by t. So ex will become e0 divided by square root of 2 and ey will become e0 divided by square root of 2. So we can show the resultant like this at an angle of 45 degree to the positive x direction. Similarly at t equal to t by 4, omega t will become pi by 2. So here sine term will become maximum and the cosine term will have zero value. So ex will be equal to e0 and ey will be equal to zero and we will get the resultant as E0 in positive x direction. In the similar manner, we can get the values of electric field at different different angles. And if we match all the arrow heads, we will get a circle in clockwise direction. So this wave is circularly polarized. Now to find the sense of rotation, put the thumb points towards propagation direction and close the finger along advancing time. The hand that satisfies this defines the left or right circular polarization. In this case, 
left hand is satisfying this so the wave is left circularly polarized in case 5 let's we have the same case as previous one only difference is that the amplitude of both the components are different so here we will get different different magnitude at various time instants like shown in the figure and we will have elliptical polarization and we can find the sense of rotation same as we found it on circular polarization so that's all for today अगर आपके कोई डाउट्स हैं तो प्लीज कमेंट में मेंशन करना मत भूलिएगा और अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट और सब्सक्राइब जरूर करिएगा